Welcome to the Magic Arena Mini Game Challenge. What is going on everybody and welcome to a brand new series on this channel. I cannot wait to jump into this one. I have been a little burnt out with gameplay. It feels a little bit monotonous to me. Everybody in the world does gameplay. Everybody in the world is trying to win as many games of Magic as possible. But what if we changed that challenge? What if we did something a little different? This is where this series comes in. This is the mini game challenge hosted on MTG Arena and uh, brought to you really by our Discord. Uh, we have got some amazing deck builders in there and essentially what we are doing is setting weekly goals for the Discord channel, asking you all to submit some deck lists for us. And then we are choosing three of those. We are gonna be recording uh, episodes on three different days and posting those up for you guys where we highlight each deck and figure out who can do the most of something. Now this week we are starting with a discard challenge. The task was simple. It is, can we get the most number of discarded cards from the opponent's hand with cards in our deck? Now, that does mean anything like tormenting voice from the opponent, anything that makes them discard a card from a card that they have in their deck does not count. We are only tallying up the number of cards that we discard from the opponent's hand with cards in our deck. Now, that is a very fun challenge. The goal is not to win the game. The goal is to see how many cards we can discard. The winner at the end of the week is gonna be able to pick up some free proxies. We are gonna send them a free mystery proxy pack uh, that are normally only available on our Patreon. And if you would like to check that out, you certainly can do so down below. There is a link right there for you. So without further ado, let's jump into our first deck. All right, guys, now before we talk about this deck and acknowledge Spinaraptor who did put this one together, I just wanna say if you would like to create any submissions as well, please feel free to do so. We are doing that in the Decklist for Stream chat uh, in our Discord. There is a link down below to join that Discord. It's free and open to everybody, so please do check that out. That would be highly, highly appreciated. Without further ado, let's check out this deck. As I said, Spinaraptor, who is actually a mod in our chat as well, uh, or in our Discord channel, uh, put together this really interesting deck and it's a bit more combo-y than some of the other lists that we'll see later on in the week but I really like it it also is very controlling now we have some very typical things obviously this is mono black we've got Inquisition of Kozlik Thoughtseize each of those giving us a discard of course now to capitalize on those discards we've got Waste Not uh, very fantastic card and can really get some major work done especially in this deck which we'll talk about in a little bit but essentially whenever an opponent discards a card we get a little extra bonus that might be a creature, some extra mana, or a free card from our deck. Now, one of the big payoff cards is Torment of Hailfire. Only here is a two of. We don't want too many of them, but can obviously make the opponent discard quite a number of cards. Uh, for some control elements, we do have Golden Demise here, as well as Demon of Dark Schemes, which is a really awesome card, in my opinion. Uh, it very much sweeps the board a lot of the time, uh, and is just a big 5-5 flyer that can finish the game if we are looking to win. Uh, now, we do have Grim Tutor here. This is able to uh, essentially pull out one of our big payoff spells, whether that be Torment of Hailfire or Awaken the Erstwhile, which is another really awesome card, essentially saying each player discards all cards in their hand and then creates that many 2-2 black zombie creature tokens, which is amazing, especially if we have Waste Not out, which allows us then to capitalize on all of those cards that are discarded. So really, really powerful. If we have Turgrid out and they uh, discard or sacrifice a permanent card, we're act actually able to steal that card as well we can really capitalize on a lot of that stuff now fell specter is another way to win the game whenever an opponent discards a card that player loses two life and it also is just a one five flyer that discards a card as well sitting here as a two of uh, as far as lands go, we have 17 Swamp. We have got two Phyrexian Tower, allowing us to ramp a little bit quicker if we need to. Cabal Stronghold, really an all-star in this deck. If we can get a number of Swamps out, this allows us to really capitalize on that extra mana. And then, of course, we have Castle Lockthwain here as a two of, just to give us a little extra card draw as needed. Uh, now, one thing I will say about Spinaraptor's deck, the Grim Tutors here were originally Demonic Tutors, which are banned in Historic. The format is Historic today, so we, we did have to here to that but without further ado we actually just get to jump right in that's the deck guys let's see how this goes 
All right, guys, here we are for game one. This is our opening hand, and it's not amazing. It's interesting. I'm going to try it. We're going to see the way this works, just so you guys know. Again, the goal is not to win the game. The goal is to discard as many cards as possible. I've got a handy dandy notebook here, which I'm going to be using to keep track of how many cards we discard from the opponent's hand. Uh, and we are going to actually be doing three games. Uh, I think I actually take the Leaf Kindred, and that is our first discard. Uh, hopefully, if everything goes correctly, we will have a counter on the screen as well to keep track of that. We're going to do three games with each deck. And again, this is Monday's deck. We've got a Wednesday deck and a Friday deck. At the end of that Friday, Friday deck, we will see uh, who did the best, uh, and we will give away and announce the winner. So uh, we are going to do three games. We're going to compare just the highest scores from each uh, to make sure that we uh, we make it very fair. I don't want anybody to feel like they're getting slighted, if that makes sense. Uh, honestly, this is a weird place to be because part of me just wants to get a land, <laughs> uh, or like. A Cabal Stronghold wouldn't be terrible. I'm honestly just going to get the land. Uh, the thing is, we really need to get to four and five mana with this deck, uh, and this obviously just helps us do that. They are stuck on mana, which is amazing for us. So let's go ahead and play the Lantern here, uh, and we'll just go ahead and, and hit them with it. Let's see what happens. Hopefully they discard a card, which means we just uh, get another tally. Okay, nope. We're still only at one. I believe in us though. Spinner Raptor really did a fantastic job with this deck. It is a fun one. Awaken the Erstwhile is really sweet. Uh, and so I'm very curious to see how this actually plays out. Now we can just Golden Demise here uh, if we would like, just to keep us in line. The other option would be just a Waste Knot. Um, I'm actually gonna take the cool play and try and Waste Knot here. Uh, and then we will do this. And we'll see what happens. We will see, guys. I believe in us. I think this is going to be a really fun uh, challenge. I wanted, I'll be honest, uh, I really wanted to do something a little bit different. Uh, gameplay is really cool and all that kind of stuff. Ooh, that's a second discard. And we actually get to draw a card off of it, so that's really nice. Uh, the thing about gameplay to me, though, is that it's pretty stagnant. Like, you just get to see new decks and that kind of thing, which is fun, don't get me wrong. But... What if we wanted to do something a little different and make a game within the game? And that's what this really is about. Now, I obviously wanted to make sure that we uh, gave a little shout out and some thank yous to people, which is why we're giving some incentive away, of course. But overall, this is going to be a really fun challenge, I think. Uh, I will go ahead and fell Spectre here. This gets another card out of hand, which is fantastic. Um, Curious to see what it is. Perfect. Uh, and we will do this, of course, as well. Maybe they'll discard another card. Ooh, maybe. I hope. I hope. Get it out of there. Come on. I'm not this scary, but I'm actually, again, we're not in the camp of needing to win the game. So we're up to four cards so far. I love it. Uh, you can see the power of Waste Knot as well. It just does amazing, amazing things. Uh, and if we can get a land... We actually have Awaken the Erstwhile available, which is going to be four cards in our favor. Uh, potentially more than that, actually. We'll see. We will see. All the lands. Well done, opponent. Uh, all right. Cool. That's fine. Did not attack in. Interesting. Okay, so what do we want to do here? Uh, the question is, well, we actually can just do this, and I think this is what we do. I think this is just the best play, right? We're, we're here to discard cards, guys. We're not here to win the game. This is what we do. We're going to sacrifice a creature. This is four cards in our favor. I love it. We're up to eight, and we just get tons of these little guys. Uh, and then let's go ahead and do this. Because why not? Because why not, guys? Why not? All right. They sacrifice a creature. That is fine, and we just pass. We are already up to eight cards with this deck. Spinneraptor did a fantastic job. This is really a sweet deck in my opinion. And again, Awaken the Erstwhile is just such a cool card. Uh, all right. Not an amazing uh, draw for sure, but let's go ahead and hit him with this one more time. Uh, and we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so we could, hmm. We could try and attack in here, which would get... They can block five, which would be four of these guys getting through, which is eight damage. I'm not going to do it. Uh, I'm going to let it sit. They're top deck, and so are we. It's fine. It is fine. All right. They did get a land there, which is great. They do have, uh, obviously, some, some major... Uh, 
strength in that kind of a play so that makes a lot of sense now we do have demon of the dark schemes which could be a fun one uh but let's grim tutor obviously uh let's see what we can get here it honestly might just be another land um let's see what do we want i think it is just another land guys we just kind of need lands <laughs> uh, i know that's not very exciting but that's okay it's fine uh hopefully they just discard this card here that'd be great um nope they're just gonna sack that's fine uh let's see one two three four so we get five through which is just about enough damage but not quite so again i'm just gonna wait um i don't want to lose on the backswing i'd prefer to be able to get this demon down uh, which would really kind of shore up the game. Now, I do want to talk to you guys about doing bonus points for winning the games. We did not talk about that. That is something that we could do if we would like, uh, but we don't necessarily have to. Um, so just something to think about. Uh, we could do some bonus points. We, uh, I, I'm back and forth on it. I don't want the goal of this to be to win the game. I want the goal of this to do some silly discard shenanigans and whatever the goal might be. Now, remember, if you do have any suggestions, guys, there are great ways to uh, to promote those suggestions. You feel free. Let's hold on one second. Let me make sure I'm doing this correctly. All right, let's do this. That's four, five, six. OK, that's fine. Let's go ahead and drop this down. Um, the, the way to give us some suggestions, whether it's deck lists or goals that we would like to shoot for, you can do that in that Discord chat. We might even open up a, uh, a dedicated chat for that. So just keep that in mind. Uh, very excited, though, because, again, this is just going to be such a fun little mini series, I think. Uh, so far, eight cards, though. We got I think we can get to 10. I think we can do it. Ooh, OK, they have no maximum hand size the rest of the game. That is actually pretty important. Uh, so let's see what happens. You're gonna play that Risen Reef, sure. All right, there's the Golden Demise. I like that quite a bit. Uh, hmm. Well, I mean, first things first, we should always do this because this is gonna maximize our output here. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. And I don't want to sacrifice this, so we will just attack in. We're going to be pretty simple here. Get in a little extra damage uh, before they can go too crazy, and then next turn we really might be able to take them down. Uh, I hope. I hope. Uh, I do want to win the game still. I think it is a very fun thing to do, but uh, we obviously are really in the camp of just trying to get them to discard. All right. You got it. Uh, this is very good, by the way. This little combo. Uh, Maskwood Nexus is sweet. Very, very good. Uh, Omnath is going to be great here if they um, they can get it down. OK. They should be able to just like go off this turn, to be brutally honest. Um, yeah, that's fine. OK, sure. The healer, sure. So basically each of these is like essentially each elemental they play is essentially drawing two cards, which is just ridiculously good. Um, now, obviously, importantly, uh, if we discard a non land card from their hand, we actually get to do quite a bit of uh, damage there, too. But I think it's very clear we just need to golden demise here uh, for sure. Let's just do this just to be technically correct. Uh, we get tons of energy, which is awesome. Uh, let's throw the lantern down and let's see what they do. Let's just see what happens. It can't be bad for us, so why not? Um, now we can actually put a card from their graveyard, a creature card, onto our battlefield, which also seems pretty good. Uh, we got a lot of mana too. Um, Let's see, what do we want to take is the question. I'm actually just going to take this uh, and we're going to copy this. Seems pretty good. Uh, we do deal a little less damage this turn, but it's fine, guys. It's fine. Now we've got two demons that they have to contest with, and I don't know that they have a way to do it. Um, now, we did make them discard a card, so we do need to make sure we add that in. We're at nine. Perfect. They're going to return everything. Sure. 
A uh, little frustrating, but I mean, they've lost so much already. I can't imagine they've got that much that they can do. Um, they've only also got 25 cards left in their deck because they have drawn so many. So we have hope, guys. We have hope. There's a Thought Seize, uh, which is amazing, actually. Let's do this. We're going to Waste Knot. We're going to Waste Knot again. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's Thought Seize. Let's make him discard again. Uh, it's going to be Omnath, which is putting us up to 10, uh, which gives us two little tutus. Pretty solid. Uh, now, next turn, obviously, we... We can demon, um, that does mean that we would kill our own tutus, which is not necessarily ideal. Uh, but we also have the lantern here, or just Turgrid in general, um, which is pretty solid. So we'll see. We will see. I am not stressing. The lantern really is our win here, in my opinion. Um, ooh, neat. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we're just going to do this. And we're just going to make him... We're just going to tap it a lot. We're just going to see what happens, people. We got this. Let's see what happens. They probably do discard the Spark Double here at some point because it's really not doing anything. Um, but we'll see. Okay, they did not do it that time. That's fine. Let's untap. And let's just do it again. Uh, the, uh, the Flood of Tears play is an annoying one for us, for sure. Uh, but we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. Cool. Uh, then we're going to attack in and deal two damage. So we are one step closer, guys. This has been a long game, actually. <laughs> uh, kind of surprisingly long, to be brutally honest, but that's okay. Uh, they have a spark double, which they can use to copy Leaf Druid. <laughs> Doesn't seem great on their end. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. They have this thing, which is amazing. I forget that they have the world tree. Okay, but they have discarded like a lot of their stuff. Uh, so we'll see what's left. If they can deal 10 damage to us, they get it. That's totally fine. But crucially, we have made them discard 10 cards, which is the important thing here. Wow. Okay. Holy crap. Well, that is a win for them. Uh, what the heck? Oh my gosh. All right. That's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> I am going to let them run through it just because this is a fun little thing. You got to let them run through it. You know what I'm saying? Got to have fun. Got to have fun, guys. All right. So first game, we have discarded 10 cards from the opponent's hand. That is a pretty solid start, I like to think. Uh, over the course of a game like this, where it's a bit of a longer game plan for both of us, uh, it's going to be great because we're going to have as many options as possible uh, to discard. Now, we'll see if we can top that with Spinner Raptor's deck, but man, what an awesome start, guys. I love this. All right, this might be taking a little longer than I thought, but it's fine. You got it. I want them to be able to do it though. I, I'm of the camp that, you know, if you've if you've worked this hard to to do something, you should have the opportunity to let it happen, you know? Oh, but they've got all these Risen Reef things. Alright, no, we're just we're just gonna concede. Alright, well done, opponent. They got the win. Unfortunately, that is a loss. I'm gonna mark that down in case, in case we decide to uh use that um as a bonus point but that is 10 discards for game one and we're gonna jump into game two right now let's see what we can do all right guys here we are for game number two and we've actually got a decent starting hand here it's not perfect but we do have the turn one thought seize so an initial discard right off the bat with grim tutor backup so i feel pretty good about that just gonna go ahead and mark a one right there uh and what are we worried about here what are we worried about uh a lot of this actually um hmm very scary actually i'm gonna take the blood for bones uh faithless looting is also a very good consideration to be honest but we'll see now keep in mind guys them discarding cards because of their own deck does not work that does not count for us we have to make sure that it is from our uh deck that these things happen so just keep that in mind uh and i'm gonna take the mire triton here 
Uh, it's a creature, so I don't really, that's two obviously, I don't really want to have to deal with any creatures if I can help it. Uh, just slows their clock down a little bit. Very worried about the uh, Vorinclex play here at some point. Uh, let's do this, let's Grim Tutor. And the question becomes, what do we actually get here? Uh, let's see. Could just be Thoughtseize, but I don't think that's great. Um, could be Turgrid, or it could be Waste Knot, maybe? Uh, hmm. This is a tricky one. Uh, I think it's just Turgrid, uh, because they're in the, in the camp of discarding their own hand, and so if we can kind of capitalize on that with the Turgrid, that's just great for us. So that kind of decentivizes them to do that much. Uh, now they are going to get a free discard off the Fell Spectre, but that does count towards our goals, so it's okay. Keeping in mind again, we're not here to win. We're here to have some fun. There's the Unburial Rites. That's terrifying, because uh, now we are just going to die. <laughs> but it's fine. It is perfectly fine. Let's let them discard a card. That is the third discard of the game. Let's see what we can do. Here comes the Unburial Rites. Probably our death imminent at this point. There's Shieldred. Yep. Okay. Great. Uh, all right. Uh, that is not what we wanted. So we're going to throw the lantern in there. And we're going to help him out a little bit here, guys. Uh, I don't think we're going to get to 10. I don't think we're going to get to 10. I, I just don't foresee that happening. But that's okay. We did make him discard. That's four. We're getting there. Okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, they just discarded a few more from their own card. All right, let's see. There's Faithless Looting. Man, if we had been able to draw a land there, we could have done so much. That would have been so sick, uh, but we just can't. And there's the draw seven. Man, Jenga Taxis is so good. So is Shieldred, obviously, but... Uh, okay, well, I can't, so that's fine. Uh, and there's that. That's kind of a problem now. Uh, let's Waste Knot. Let's make them hopefully discard. They probably will want to discard, so that's fine. Oh, they dis they killed the Shieldred. Uh, that's interesting. I wouldn't have expected that, uh, to be honest. But you know what? It's okay. It's totally fine. All right. Let's see what they got. Imperial rights again, sure. Uh, yeah. So, like, they could have just killed us this turn, I'm pretty sure. Why did they not? Uh, there's a positive at least. Let's untap this. <laughs> That's fine, and let's do this. Doesn't matter, we don't have a lot we can do anyway, so at this point, okay, they're just gonna take the three. We're gonna take five, and they draw seven more cards. <laughs> this deck is sweet, by the way. Uh, if we ever do a how many creatures can we reanimate deck, I'm in for this one. I like this. Okay, they just discarded a crap ton of stuff. Um, but crucially, that means we actually get to do this a couple times, which is kind of cool. I kind of like it. We'll see what they discard, if they do discard anything. Okay, they didn't. That's fine. And more land. All right, so let's do Waste Knot. Yeah, I know. Uh, they do have to be kind of careful, though, because they can just, like, wreck themselves if they do things the wrong way. Uh, all right, so this does count as a, uh, a hit, so that is five. We draw a card, which is quite helpful. Two cards, in fact. And let's do this. <laughs> That's fine. Um, uh, we'll take a Blood for Bones, which is six. We draw more. Uh, and then we do this. And I guess hope that somehow we don't die. <laughs> Alright, we did okay though. We got six. Uh, that's not terrible. We'll not block. We died. It's fine. We've lost again, but that was six. So we're at ten and we're at six. We'll see what we can do here in a second in game three. 
All right, guys, here we are for our third and final game with Spinner Raptors deck. Again, a huge thank you. Please remember, if you would like to submit a deck and be entered to win some free proxies, you can do so, but you do have to do it via Discord. Uh, if you'd like to share a goal or anything like that that we can use as a potential uh, option for future weeks, feel free to leave that in the comment section. You don't have to necessarily be in Discord for that, but I would like to keep all of the deck lists in Discord if you do not mind. That would be incredibly, incredibly helpful. Uh, all right, so we get to Golden Demise this thing away, which is pretty helpful here. We're also drawing quite a number of uh, of spells, which is great. Now, the trick is, do we want to wait on the the Golden Demise and just throw out the Waste Knot, or do we want a Grim Tutor? I'm actually just going to try and uh, capitalize here. This may not be the right play, but we're, we're here for the gold, man. We're here for fun. So let's just go for it. Let's go for the max effort play. <laughs> Not efficient play, the max effort play. Um, all right, let's see what they do. Kind of would love to get a two for one at least with the Golden Demise, that would be kind of cool. Now, crucially, Spinaraptor was very smart uh, and putting Awaken the Erstwhile in this list, what happens is with Golden Demise, you can actually just sweep their entire board, <laughs> uh, which is kind of awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, yes, okay. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna sweep a little bit here. Get these guys out of there. Now let's Inquisition and see what they got. Oh yes, oh yes. Uh, we're gonna take the Bone Crusher. That's one. Uh, and we get two two twos for that. I like that. Uh, let me mark this down. That's only the first discard though. I will say we're, we're a little behind, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, happy to block here and take this trade. I don't particularly care to, to keep on uh, with these little two twos. It doesn't matter to me. So that is fine. Now again, I don't think we're gonna get to 10. I don't think we're gonna do it, guys. I'll be honest, I think uh, I think we're gonna have a hard time with it, but we're gonna try, we are gonna try. Uh, yeah, let's go for it, let's Thought Seize him. Let's get this out of here, that is two. And that draws us two cards, which is quite helpful, I'll be honest. <laughs> um, do this. Uh, and I'm not going to Grim Tutor, I'm not. Because I'm, I'm determined we might win this game. We might. Uh, it's a big might, don't get me wrong. Um, we really don't have to do that, do we? Uh, well, actually, it does make sense, I suppose. All right. We're doing this. We're doing it. Which might make them discard a card. We'll see. Nope. Doesn't count. It's the trick, guys. That's the trick. All right. Let's just go for it. Here we go. If they just draw a lightning bolt or something, we're just dead. Does that kill us? It can, yeah. Uh, do they need one more land to do it? They do, but that means a land is a very live draw for them. Ugh, we've only discarded two cards. Oh no, they did it. They won. Well, that was an anticlimactic game. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, well, that is okay, guys. Let's go ahead, let's delve into the end of today's video. All right, guys, so first of all, a huge thank you to Spinaraptor for submitting a deck for the discard challenge. I really do appreciate it. Now, just as a quick overview, we lost all three games, but in game one, we had our max discard at 10. Game two, we were at six. In game three, we were only at two. So game one was definitely by far the best option. Uh, now we're gonna be pitting that up against two other people with two other deck lists later this week. Wednesday and Friday are gonna be the other two days. So do keep that in mind. We will uh, do a Monday Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. And remember, whoever gets the most discards in a single game is gonna be getting some free proxies sent to them. Uh, that will be a proxy pack probably of like five to, to six proxies, somewhere in that range, but they're free. They're being sent to you for nothing. It's just a fun little giveaway for you guys. So please, 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 please submit your deck list. Do that in Discord. If you've got goals, leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoy this challenge, make sure to leave a like or a comment as well. I really do appreciate it, guys. It means the world to me. You guys are incredibly supportive, and I hope this new series is something fun that you guys can get behind and participate in uh, to make it a little more fun than just standard gameplay. So thank you guys so much. Thank you again to Spinaraptor. I'll see you guys on Wednesday for the next episode of our Discard Challenge.